Masters Vessel Classical Academy, Primary Section. On the Roll. Lovely ones at home, how are you today? I hope you all are fine. That's good. My name is Okobwe Oluchi Nkem. I still remain your mathematics teacher. And our topic today is the calendar. What did I say? The calendar. The objectives of the lesson, that is, what you are expected to do by the end of the lesson, are as follows. One, define calendar. Define calendar. Two, recite a poem which tells us about the months in a year. And lastly, recite the days of the week. So we are going to take the objectives one after the other. I said the first one is define calendar. What is calendar? And before that, I would like to show you a picture of a calendar. This is 2020 calendar. This is 2020 calendar. 2020 calendar. 2020 what? Calendar. Chamaka, what did I say? 2020 calendar. That's good. Let us proceed. Look at this definition. The calendar is an arrangement showing the months, the weeks, and the day in a year. That is the 12 months of the year. I repeat. I say that the calendar is an arrangement showing the months like this calendar here, if you look at it, you will see how the months are being organized and arranged very well. If you look at it, we have 12 good months in a year. This is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and then December. So these are the 12 good months we have in a year. Then, we still have a poem that tells us about a, a calendar or the months in a year. Before I recite it, I don't know whether if there is any of you here who knows that poem. It's just a popular poem. Yes? Ndubisi, can you recite it for us? Uh, Glory, can you recite? Auntie, I don't, Auntie, I don't know it. Okay, that's good. Okay, let me recite it. It goes like this. Pay attention. Pay attention because it will help you. 30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest are 31st except February alone, which has 28 days calendar and 29 days in each leap year. So this place is just telling us that there are some months that have 30 days. If you look at your calendar, I know you people are having your calendars with you here. All of you have calendars in your house. You can just bring your calendar. Let's just uh, uh, follow it together. If you look at your calendar, this song says that there are some months that have 30 days. 30 days, like September. Check your calendar. In the month of September, you will see that September has only 30 days. Then look at the month of April. If you check it very well, if you check your month of April, you see that it also has what? Uh, 30 days. Then if you look at another one, June, you will see that June has also 30 days. Then if you look at, uh, which other month? April, June, September, uh -huh. look at November, the last, almost the last one that has 30 days. If you look at November, you will see that November also have what? 30 days. So these are the months that have 30 days. Then the other months, like January, March, July, 
August, October, December, they have 31 good days. They have 31 good days. Shamaka, is it like that in your calendar? Good. So those months, they have 31 good days. Then, let us look at February. This month, it either has 28 days or 29 days. Who can tell me? February this year, has it 28 days or 29 days? Who can tell me? Who can tell me? Yes, good. It has 29 days. It has what? 29 days. And it, since it has 29 days, it is called a what? A leap year. Why do we say it is a leap year? We say that it is a leap year because it occurs. When February occurs every four years, when February occurs every four years with 29 uh, with 29 days, we say it is a leap year. And also, the number of days increase with one. It has 366 days. That's make it what? A leap year. So this year is a what? It's a leap year because February has 29 good days. I hope people are following up. Good. Okay, let us proceed. If we look at this, Still under the month of the year, you have January as the first month of the year. If you look at it, this is January, it is the first month of the year. Then February, it is the second month of the year. March, the third month of the year. April, the fourth month of the year. May, the fifth month of the year. June, the sixth month of the year. July, the seventh month of the year. August, the eighth month of the year. September, the ninth month of the year, then October, the 10th month of the year, then uh, November, the 11th month of the year, and finally, December, which is the 12th month and the last month of the year. So all these months, all these months, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December, they make up one year. Shamaka, what did I say? They make up one year. Then, let us look at the last one. The last uh, objective, I said, recite the days of the week. You know, all these days and all these weeks, they are under the calendar. They are under the what? Calendar. Because if you look at this calendar, almost each month has how many weeks? For four weeks. Each month has how many weeks? For four weeks. Weeks and this week, seven days make up one. Seven days make up one week. So we are going to uh, look at recite the days of the week. Sunday, Monday. Although let me show you, I've written it somewhere. Mm -hmm. These are the days of the week. If you look at this, you see the days of the week written properly and boldly. Days of the week. Sunday, which is the first day of the week. Monday, which is the second day of the week. Tuesday, which is the third day of the week. Wednesday, which is the fourth day of the week. Then Thursday, which is the fifth day. Then Friday, which is the sixth day. And Saturday, which is the seventh day and the last day of the week. So these are the days of the week. I hope children, you people are following. Good. Good. So before I call it a day, I would like you to take down this assignment. And please, when you are writing this assignment, make sure you use 2020 calendar to answer these questions. Do you understand what I mean? Good. Make sure you use 2020 calendar to answer these questions. Use
Okay. Children, these are your assignment. Number one says, how many months have 30 days? Two. Which month is the tenth month of the year? How many days are there in September and December? Four. What day is the what day is the sixteenth April twenty twenty five? How many weeks are there in the following months? June, August, and October. This is the end of the lesson. Please make sure you write your assignments and pass it. Till I come your way next time. Bye for now.